Now you're officially an old man. You finished your rookie season. <laughs> it really begins now. So good morning. Thanks for joining us. Um, you represented the Wizards last night in the in the lottery thing. Is there a look? It's obviously just luck, right? But is there a yeah. little piece of you that's hoping that you specifically bring the good luck and not the bad stuff? For sure. For sure. Yeah. No, that was a hundred. That was that was yeah, a crazy moment. Uh loved it. Loved it for sure. The, uh, do you uh do you have a preference and what you'd like to see the Wizards do with that? Is there a guy out there that you think would be a great fit? Uh, I mean, not really. I just trust them. You know, Mike and we're going to do a good job. I know that they chose me, so they're going to choose somebody else. That's nah. good. <laughs> good answer. Good answer. Go. <laughs> Bilal, you, you're off to a great start for your rookie season. When you were a bright spot, you did fracture your wrist in March, missed the rest of the season. How are you doing now? Where are you at? Um, obviously, you've got a, you've got a big off season now. Yeah, I feel way better. I uh, just finished my workout. Uh, you know, I'm starting to shoot a little bit more with my right hand, uh, dribble with my right hand. So, yeah, I feel really good. Will you, do you feel like you'll be ready in time for the Olympics? Do you, do you hope to play on, on Team France? And how do you view your offseason? What are your focuses this offseason? Yeah, I'm just working hard, you know. Uh, I hope I make the team. Uh, I, I'm supposed to be good, I guess, for my, with, my, with my right wrist. So, uh, yeah, just working out to, to make the team. Bilal, you were childhood friends with uh, Victor Wembanyama. Obviously, we we just you know, got the, our first peak this season. How dominant, how good he can be. When when did you first know that this dude is different and he can be really special? I mean, the first time I met him when I was eleven, because uh, he was already like six six. I was like, man, how is it possible? We're like eleven. You can't be six six. And he was already dunking on people. So I was like, okay, he's gonna be the, he gonna be great. <laughs> Were there certain highlights or things that he did this season that even surprised you? Or like like some of the sham guys, the off the glass, like the stuff that we do at like a park having fun. We've never really seen that from someone his size. Did that surprise you or you knew he's got that in even a deeper bag of things we haven't even seen? I mean, yeah, I'm used to it. Uh, last year, practice it is so many things, like crazy things. That that that's nothing compared. That's what that what he's used to do. So uh, I'll say, yeah, no, nah, I wasn't I wasn't really surprised. No. Nah. <laughs> We always have this debate, where do you rank someone like that? Because he's obviously so good so fast, but his team didn't win that many games. Mm -hmm. How long till Wimby's the best player in the NBA? I say not so long, man. Uh, <laughs> he's a winner. He's, he's a winner, so I know they're going to win soon. Uh, you know, they're going to do adjustment, whatever they got to do. And, uh, yeah, they're going to gonna be straight. But, uh, yeah, he, I mean, even this year he was good. So I give him, like, three years. It's going to be great. Mm -hmm. I like three. You got to give us, give us, give us something good. What, what is something we don't know about Victor? Because he's so serious all the time. He, he doesn't give us a lot of his personality. Does he have fun? Is he a, a funny person? Give us, give us something we don't know about Victor. Give us a Victor Wimby yeah, in story. Yeah, he's funny, but he really, really smart. Like, that's crazy. Sometimes I used to have conversation with him. I was like, he was learning me. Uh, he was teaching me something new every single day. So I was like, okay, man, you way too smart. But yeah, I mean, he's just a smart person. He loves to do uh, all kinds of things like, uh, you know, writing, uh, drawing, everything. So yeah, he, he different. I know. I feel like yesterday was it yesterday he was describing dark matter to oh, the yeah, press, yeah, and I was so, like, "Oh, this is uh, right. this is gonna be interesting." <laughs> um, you guys got to play each other back in January. You had fourteen, he had twenty four. I would imagine when the when the schedule comes out, the two of you are like, "All right, this should be good." That being said, we're not friends on the court, so was there trash talking involved? Oh, of course. Even before the game, <laughs> even before the game, yeah, I was like, "Man, I'm gonna dunk on you. Watch out." And he was like, hey, "We'll see. I'll dunk on you too." So yeah. A lot of trash talk, but uh, at the hand, yeah, we played good, so good game. Good game. Yeah. Bilal, I know how close you guys are. How do you feel like Victor has impacted your career? How do you feel like you've impacted his, his career as well? Uh, I mean, yeah, you know, uh, if he was not in the Mets, uh, not that many people going was were about to be there at the game. So, yeah, I'm really glad for it. And, uh, yeah, we just, uh, you know, complement each other really, really well. And, uh, yeah, I mean, he's doing his thing. I'm doing my thing. So it's cool. Yeah, Bilal, you were one of the bright spots in a difficult season for the Wizards. Um, and often you were had to guard the opposing team's best player. 
who would you say was who was the hardest guy you know you had to guard this year that was just like damn this dude is it's different over here this year it was B.I. Brandon Ingram because uh yeah he gave us 40 and uh I was playing great defense but it was just shooting over my head I was like man how I am <laughs> supposed to do what I'm supposed to do so uh I'll say him yeah I give it to him <laughs> And we always talk about our, our coming to the NBA moment. Like, what was your welcome to the NBA moment, whether it was good, whether it was bad, whether it was scary? Was there something that happened early on where you were just kind of in awe? I'll say that game because uh, that was the first game somebody was really, like, killing me. I, I felt like I couldn't do anything. So uh, I'll say, yeah, that was my welcome to the NBA moment. All right, so a recent uh, French-language interview, you, you said that Pascal Siakam was um, overrated and that some of his offensive moves perhaps are a little bit easy to anticipate. Uh, did we lose something in translation there? Do you stand by that? Uh, I stand by it. Uh, I say, I just, yeah, I just said that, no, nah, he was not overrated, you know, but I, they were asking me uh, kind of like, who was the easiest superstar to guard? And I was like, uh, Pascal, you know, I uh, I watched the films and I, and I knew what he was about to do when he was going left, uh, you know, spinning around, going right, so yeah. I was like, yeah, he was the easiest superstar to guard. That's okay. Are there other players like that? Like when we're watching the games, you obviously see something completely different than we do. Are there other guys who maybe make it look easy that are you think are a little overrated? Uh, like that, I can't really tell yeah. y'all, but yeah. Smart. Smart. <laughs> I was trying to trap you, Bilal, and you that passed. Was, yeah, so. I know, I know, yeah. <laughs> <Don't> go for it. <laughs> go for it. That was well done. <laughs> Test. It was just a test. Uh, okay, I want to talk fashion. Obviously, we are a very fashionable show, as you could tell. Um, and France is uh, just the most beautiful fashion place in the world. You're also teammates with Kyle Kuzma, however. So mm -hmm. it's interesting to me, some of the stuff that he manages to put together. Good. We're flashing some up there right now. Uh -oh. What have you thought about some of these uh, outfits for him? I mean, I like it. That's him, you know. Uh, that's him. Uh, uh, yes. No, you don't. <laughs> <know. laughs> no. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah, that was that was crazy. Hey, hey. I used to tell him that. A yeah, lot of leather, a lot of leather. Yeah, I like it, man. That's him. It's definitely, I mean, this is very, I kind of like this. It's kind of French, yeah, that's classy, yeah, elegant. That's kinda, yeah. Would you ever wear anything that he wears? No, 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 no. I won't. I won't wear that. Okay, there it is. No, no. That's, so that, hey, means, so that means you don't like it then. That <laughs> means you really don't that's like it. it. That's what I mean. No, that's not my style. <laughs> Hey, when you're Blue. averaging twenty, when you're averaging twenty and ten next year, we better not see you wearing this shit. Yeah, no, no I want worry, it. Worry. Head to toe leather, <laughs> just one cow after another. Get it, Bilal? Uh -huh. This has been awesome. Uh, enjoy the off season. Hope to see you out in Paris. Um, French team, look out! Thank you so much. Appreciate y'all. See y'all.